Meanwhile, the land of Pegasus is debating something completely different, food. Jews around the world follow a specific religious diet. It's called kosher. It's a long list of what and how to eat. But who enforces these rules? Until now, it was a body of senior rabbis in Israel. But now the new government has a different plan. They want to privatize kosher certification. Our next report tells you why the rabbis say this is not kosher. Never pay meat and dairy. Sounds like the culinary impossible, doesn't it? How else will you make a classic chicken stew or a cheesy pasta dish? But for millions of Jews around the world, this is the red line in their cookbooks, a religious diet called kosher. It's not just about eating safe or healthy. Kosher is deeply linked to Judaism. The do's and don'ts are clearly documented in religious books. Here's a crash course. There are three main food categories, meat, dairy, and parava. Kosher rules are a play on how you combine these three. Meat and dairy, that's a strict no. Why? Because you can't cook a kid in its mother's milk. That's what the religious texts say. Meat and dairy must be cooked and served in separate utensils. What about the parava items? They are considered neutral. They go with a slice of chicken as well as a glass of milk. But beware, if you are using common utensils, the parava dish becomes non-kosher. These are the big FAQs on kosher, but the rules don't end here. Not every animal is cleared for consumption. Pigs, rabbits, camels and kangaroos are not permitted. Same for birds of prey. Do all Jewish communities follow these rules? Not in these times. Today, kosher has taken varying degrees of adherence. Some Jews are strict practitioners. Others play fast and loose. Certifying kosher is a big industry, especially in Israel. Right now, it is the monopoly of one body. The chief rabbinate. It is the most powerful religious authority on Judaism in Israel. This chief rabbinate decides whether an eatery is kosher or not. But Israel's new government is planning an overhaul. They want to privatize kosher certification. How will that work? First, a series of private certifying agencies will be created. They will be headed by a rabbi. If restaurants live up to religious standards, they get a certificate. Sounds efficient, so what's the problem? The new plan creates different types of certificates. So even if a restaurant does not fit the bill, they can get a clearance, albeit with a lower level of kosher. The chief rabbinate does not like this. For them, it's strict or nothing. Hardliners say this is an attempt to quash Israel's Jewish identity. But the government is standing firm. It says the current system is plagued by poor quality, poor working conditions, and problematic supervision. This new proposal, it says, will create competition, drive down prices, and improve choices for kosher-keeping communities. This debate is far from settled. On the one side, a 3,000-year-old religious diet. On the other, the vast possibilities of 21st century cuisine. Who said food is just to keep us alive? Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.